Hi, this is Johnny R with Hot Toys Sideshow Review, and today I am reviewing the 25 year anniversary of Voltron, Defender of the Universe, by Toy Nami. Uh, there's the box, here's the figure. Uh, about my age, I made sure I came home from school every day to watch Voltron, and I had the die-cast uh, figure of the one we have here. Um, I was doing some research because I was thinking about picking it up for my collection, and I saw that there were a couple versions, the Toinami one, um, there was a $70 one, which this is it. And there was a $200 one, which was the die-cast uh, metal version. And I just didn't see myself spending that much money for the Voltron. Um, although after I got this one, I really wish I did get the 250 in May. I'll do some more research on it. Um, I was definitely used to as a kid you know, having these be die-cast, um, and, you know, the plastic is, well, plastic, it's pretty cheap, um, it's not put together that great, the, uh, these things were backwards, I had to take them off and put them on the right way, uh, he looks good from a distance, so I'm not positive. Um, I'm really going to have to do some research on the die-cast version and see if it's full die-cast. Um, because the woman I was a kid was really, like, indestructible. That was a, uh, that was a definite... Um, you could beat that thing. Although, the body on this one, um, you can tell in the black lion, is a little more sculpted. It's not as square as it was when we were, when, well, when I was a kid, um, to make the toy. This one's more looking like the cartoon, which is pretty cool. And I know the die-cast one does also. Uh, it does come with the sword and with the shield. Uh, let me show you. This is the huge sword that Voltron always came with. And I'll put that in his hand. It actually did a good idea this time around. They put this little, like, uh, pin in there. So it fits in the red lion's hand. So, that was a better idea than the old toy. So you can see him holding the sword. He stands up pretty well, I gotta give him that. The, uh, the balance of the, uh, of the toy is pretty good. They also have the uh, shield, and also has a pin, and it's uh, reversible. I'll put that on. Real quick. Bear with me. One second. Oh. All right. So there's Voltron with his shield and his uh, sword. So they didn't do, you know, the sculpt is a pretty, is a good job. I gotta give my hands, a good hand for doing the sculpt. I can see the die cast being expensive, and um, maybe I was, just, I was probably just expecting more, because, you know, when I was a kid and had the toy, and um, I was expecting it to be like that when I opened it up. Uh, so I may go the die-cast route, or I may just keep this one, because it's really just a display piece. Um, I'll have to see what the paint and things look like on the other one, and if it's bigger. 
But I just want to let you know, give you a review on the uh, 25 year Voltron from Toynami, the plastic version, the $70 version. Um, if you don't want to shell out the 250 bucks, it's not bad. It's not a bad uh, figure. It uh, it's a good representation of Voltron. Um, not really too many complaints. You know, if you're not gonna be transforming him a lot um, into lions and things like that, if you're just gonna keep him as a robot, which I think most of us would. So uh, this is Johnny R out with a review of Voltron, and I'll see you soon. Bye.